just like we keep statistics for for players when they are batting, like like uh, uh, hits and, and, and batting average, and we keep track of, of statistics for pitchers when they're on the mound, like ERA and, and, and runs that they give up. We also keep track of, of statistics for for fielders, for players when they are playing defense. And so in this in this video, I want to look at putouts and what is a putout. And really what we're going to do over the next uh, three videos is is look at putouts because there's it's kind of divided, you know, even by the rule book into three, three different uh, uh, cases. So we'll just take it uh, one, one, one area at a time. So for the, the first one, will probably be the, the the bulk of putouts that you will see and so these uh, a, a put out is basically when you are the defensive player who who either you know, like tags out or, or is responsible for getting the the a batter or runner out so so let's write that out the, the defensive player player responsible for response for 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 getting a batter or or a runner out and so 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 how do you do that so let's look at the 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 main way that you would see it done and and this one this way has has three parts to it so the first one is that you is the defensive player would catch a ball that is in flight so catch a ball in flight and 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 it doesn't matter if it's it's fair or foul and so and, and this is you know one of the most basic rules of, of, of baseball if a ball is if a batter hits a hits a pitch and it's in the air and it is caught then that batter is is out so we would give credit to whoever the defensive player was that caught it he would get credit for it for the out for the put out and so it doesn't matter if it's 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 a high ball or a high fly ball we would call it or or a, a line drive is a ball that would go you know that doesn't really go very high off the ground it's kind of right to him that'd be a line drive and so it doesn't matter either way the ball didn't touch the ground so so it would be an out the second way is that if the player catches a batted or thrown ball and tags a base to put a a, a batter or the runner out so so the, the player catches a batted or thrown ball and tags the tags a base or actually the the, the runner or the batter Himself, self, you know, to, to, to get the out. So this again is, is something you would learn uh, fairly early on that if there's a ground ball, you know, to the shortstop and, and he picks it up and he he throws it over to first base. So so let's actually work that out. Let's so we have our our shortstop here, our first baseman here. And and the ball, the the batter hits a hits a ground ball, and the shortstop picks it up. He throws it over to first base, and 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 so the first baseman in this situation, he's actually the one who catches in the situation the thrown ball, and he tags first base, you know, be, before the before the batter can get there. So the first baseman in this situation will be the one getting credit for for the put out, and so because the the shortstop he obviously helped on this play, so he would get something called an assist. But we'll look at that, you know, a little further on down the road. So, and and, and something else that could happen, say the ball just goes right to the first baseman. The first baseman, and and, and obviously if it's a fly ball and the first baseman catches it, he would get the put out, and and so that'd be automatic. But if it's a ground ball, if it hits the ground, and he picks it up and he touches the base. Or if he, you know, touches the batter before he, he reaches the base, but it, it would just be easier to touch the base most of the time. 
So, so if he does that before the batter gets to first base, he would get credit for the put out. The final way that we're going to look at in, in this video is if the, you are the defensive player who, who tags a runner when the runner is off the base to which he is entitled. So, so you tag a runner when the runner is off the base to which he is entitled. And so basically what we're saying here is 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 what would a lot of times I think it would probably involve the first baseman because in, in what we would see sometimes if if we have a so we have a runner on first base and 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 the the pitcher would actually make like a, a call it a pickoff move and so he would throw over rather than rather than throwing the pitch he would throw over to the the first baseman remember the 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 runner on first base he would probably have a lead off and so so if the the pitcher throws over on the pickoff first baseman catches the ball and he tags the runner before he is able to get back to first base then he would be be put out and the first baseman would receive credit for the put out so that's the, the kind of the simplest and and probably the ways you'll see it happen a put out be given credit for most often but in the, the, the next video, we'll look at, at some more ways.